What's up, guys? Um, it's Vusi Max here from Supreme Traders, obviously. Uh, this time I'm coming to you guys with another video, right? Uh, please bear with me if the audio quality isn't the best. I'm actually in between a private course at the moment, and then I just figured since I got some free time, might as well just make a video I've been wanting to make for some time now. Alright? So, this is what's going on at the moment. I'm in Cape Town. Right? I'm in Cape Town right now. I'm chilling. I'm just having a break in between sessions. So, I'm having classes this weekend. And then, just as a, you know, a promotional, like, just as a... a just to show appreciation is what I'm saying two the first two people to actually secure a seat on this class I gifted them with a private course which is why right now I'm outdoors as you can see right so right now I'm gonna be meeting up with a with a new member I've already had the first session yeah already so right now I'm gonna be meeting up with another member we're gonna be taking it from for day two of the classes so let me just take this opportunity i have right now to just bring you guys a video real quick i've been meaning to do right so without taking much of your time i want to tell you tell you guys the importance of using buy stops and sell stop orders all right Anyway, let me just let me just show you what's going on. You know, I, I, I always got Supreme with me all the time. You know, so hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up if you like the emblem. You might just be getting one soon. Um, let's talk about buy stops and sell stops. All right. So with a buy stop, it's an order right this type of order instead of like if you just analyze the market and then you press a buy at the same time isn't it you know it's gonna open a trade at the current market price so now with a buy stop with a buy stop it's actually gonna only put you in the market meaning it's only gonna open the trade if the price rises to a certain level above the current price right so there's a buy stop and there's a sell stop with a sell stop it's gonna trigger the trade it's gonna put you in the market once once the price drops and reaches a certain level be below the current price so say for example you are using signals to trade right if you're using signals to trade and a signal comes in like buy usd US dollar against the Japanese yen at 109.500 and at the time the price is 109.400 that means you have to wait for 100 pips above the current price and then execute that signal you just received right but like there's two ways to go about this right if you're not aware of the buy stop and the sell stop orders that means you're gonna that means you're gonna have to wait for the price to actually go up as you're watching it and then you would have to open the trade manually right so now with a buy stop you would have to actually um just set the price at, at which you want the, the trade to open and then the nice thing about buy stop and sell orders sell stop orders is is that you can put you can include both your your take profit and your stop loss within that order so that when the trade opens it's gonna have the take profit in place and the stop loss in place so i don't think i'm a firm believer that trading isn't supposed to be like a stressful thing in fact trading is supposed to be boring you know because you're supposed to trade the same setups over and over again repeatedly you know with the same with the same principles of risk management the same principles of you know entry and exit game meaning if you're going to enter through you should know how you're going to enter a trade 
either you're gonna enter through a uh, buy order at the, at a market price or a buy stop either you're gonna sell at market price or you're gonna use a sell stop right so um guys please uh, excuse there's a bit of noise where i'm at there's a there's a street performer he's, he's quite a good guy hey? i think i might um, i'm i'm gonna tip him shortly after this but the thing now is i don't know if i'm gonna be audible enough in the video right so just bear with me i'm gonna make the first section then there's gonna be part part b of this video it's gonna be all in the same video i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how to actually implement the buy stop and the sell stop orders within the metatrader i have i happen to be using metatrader 5 so even if you're using metatrader 4 it's the it's the same procedure because there isn't much difference in the interface you understand so as i was saying guys we have the buy stop and the sell stop orders those are the two that i want you to like understand and know how to use right so like i said the buy stop is gonna put you in the market only if the price goes up to a certain level but it has to be above the current price so the sell stop will put you in the market if the price drops below the current market price but the buy stop will only open a buy above the current market price the sell stop will open a sell position below the current market price so this is good in the case that you have an analysis and then say you're waiting for the price to cross a trend line or a reversal cross that means you would just have to set set the buy stop or the sell stop include the take profit and the stop loss and then you would have to continue about your day because you know trading that's all it is to trading you just have to put in the you just you just have to put in the instructions for the trade and then that's the most you can do while the trade while while the order is still pending there's only so much you can do so you can go about your day even when the trade is open there's there's so much you can do just wait for the trade to trigger your stop loss or your tp but then always apply the principles of risk management as always and you need to enter the market as efficiently as you can all right so i'm gonna update you guys later this is gonna be like quite i hope it's not too long of a video but um i'm gonna make the rest of the i'm gonna make the rest of the video when i get back to the hotel so cheers this guy's really good eh My man, mm -hmm. you're good, my man. Thanks for that. You have a nice voice, man. Thank Thanks. Struggling to get lights in here. Okay, so what ended up happening is uh, the course, the private course, took a bit, took a bit longer than I anticipated. So I have to go like have lunch now. Even though it's like late, I'm, but I'm supposed to go get something to eat now. So I decided I'm gonna when I get back to the hotel, I'm gonna create another video. And in that video, I'm going to be showing you how to how to open the buy stop and the sell stop orders directly into MetaTrader. So on that video, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing it on the app. It's going to be like more of a screen screen recording of of uh, either in the phone or the PC. But I'm going to do that when I get there later. So that's going to be a total separate video. That's going to be a totally separate video and then I'm going to link it in the description box below. 
right so if you're interested to see how you can utilize those um, those two tools which are the buy stop and the sell stop orders they're gonna be linked in this in the description below and then on that link it's gonna be the whole video of how to how to actually apply that into your MetaTrader app so that's it for me guys and if you watch the video up until this point thanks a lot and you know if you don't mind you can if you found the video useful you can like like below and subscribe for more content and yeah see you on the next one guys